Hey, I'm Tyler Gwynn. Uh, welcome to my studio. What space, uh, how does it help you to create and what kind of spaces you usually choose to mm -hmm. create and be to efficient? Create in. <laughs> um, I spend quite a bit of time in the studio um, and I, this is my third studio that I've been in now in Austin. Mm -hmm. And we chose it, myself and some other creatives I share with, we chose it um, because of where it's located. Mm -hmm. um, we love the light that's in here. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, it's great, <laughs> great natural series. light. Don't have to turn lights on. Um, it's got really high ceilings, so mm -hmm. I can put several paintings up on the walls. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing for it is uh, Austin is all about community, creative community. And so I chose a space where I could share with, with people in different industries. So there's filmmakers in here, graphic designers, textile designers. Um, so seeing them do things motivates me in my creative process. For sure, yeah. it must be very inspiring, especially when you have someone from a different discipline. It is Definitely. a creative field, but it is a different discipline, it's not art. Yeah. So I feel like it make you it can make you very inspired and it's give you yeah. a lot of ideas, you know. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh -huh. It makes it, do you use any tech uh, components in your art? I in do, creation? yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, with my background being in graphic design, mm -hmm. I actually for example, this piece, I will do it on the computer first, I'll digitally mock it up and then execute it in the studio. So that just, that's just kind of my normal process. I yeah. wanted to see that. That yeah, sounds fantastic. Yeah. Maybe you'll um, give us a little quick uh, sneak peek Absolutely. in your computer. I'll later. give you the behind the scenes for <laughs> the behind sure. Behind the scenes, that would be fantastic. Um, okay, well, with that being said, I'm curious, how do you, so for example, you have an idea, I see you have different mm -hmm. styles, Yes. right? Some yeah. of them are very expressive and abstract. So you have an idea and you try to execute on that specific pattern on your computer first. Yeah. yeah. So primarily for me, mm -hmm. it's like a, a color study first. Mm -hmm. um, I think that my work, what maybe sets it apart is that color study and color theory and understanding balance. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's a few different techniques I incorporate um, that take that color and then apply texture to it. So mm -hmm. it's almost like a wall sculpture. It's very three dimensional. Um, mm -hmm. And when you combine those two elements, and then add in some type of narrative to it, some type of backstory. I think people just really connect with the work. So yeah, it looks fantastic. I would never, I could never imagine that you have actually the draft drafting <laughs> yeah. before that because it yeah. looks so expressive. You're like, how can you do this? It's twice? like constant, like <laughs> fighting control, you know, because it does look very chaotic. But mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, control and planning that's involved. So mm -hmm. you get a little bit of push and pull with, with that. So. All right. Well, that's why it looks always so perfect. Thank, thank you. <laughs> that's why you're so popular. Well, um, tell, tell us a little bit about the process. I know that yeah. there is one piece behind you contains uh, coffee, beer, yeah, and wine. Yeah. <laughs> so this piece to our left here yeah, actually does have uh, like coffee, wine, whiskey, um, basically whatever I was drinking at the time added to it. <laughs> and the impact is something that feels almost like leathery and organic. And mm -hmm. um, different people have even told me it almost feels like a coffee creamer uh -huh. um, or concrete. Um, so I think just having an organic element to the work elevates it for me. So For sure. For yeah. sure. And it does bring that different feeling, you know, yeah. to kind of things. Uh -huh. um, well, um, maybe just a little bit more about uh, your the styles that you choose and for sure uh, why in certain way you've been inspired to to do something expressive and yeah. abstract and in certain other way you inspired to do something else yeah yeah mm -hmm. so I've chosen to do abstractions because I think there's this power and humility in it where I can have my inspiration but there's also like the interpretation for the viewer and so it's like co-authoring a piece every time um, and so I've thought about doing you know something figurative or something like realism and, and it just doesn't interest me right now because I love that relationship with the viewer where it's so open. Correct yeah, yeah. you always as a viewer I'm, I'm a big fan of abstract and big fan of John Mitchell yeah. abstract expressionist and you definitely see something for yourself right? Like after all this time some of these you know world-renowned artists 
you still see things in them for the first time when you interact with the work. So correct, I love that. Correct, correct. And you interpret and you may go deeper and deeper each time. Totally. Right, and yeah. Try to understand. Which makes good abstraction good abstraction because some of the not very good like mediocre thing that you see <laughs> that doesn't have too much depth makes it different. You know? And I think that's one thing you battle as an abstract artist is mm -hmm. people say, Oh, I could do that. Right? It's and the they just don't mistake. understand. <laughs> yeah, coming in the studio and, and kind of looking at something and saying this feels off right and and so it's easy to say you could do that until you try i always tell people just try <laughs> you know you'll see what a what a battle it is so. no it's so funny one of the art dealers i used to work with he said you can't even start <laughs> <laughs> try even to start yeah it's so true yeah the good composition and color combination is definitely super important and yeah. i feel like the idea and philosophy behind it is also equally important yeah uh, then gives us that perfect yeah. yeah, for for me, I'm very motivated. Um, there's a, a faith-based element behind the pieces for me, and that's my motivation. And it, you know, wakes me up in the morning and gets me to the studio. And I think some of that positive energy is it comes through in the work. So, yeah, it turned into an incredible success. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great year. Yes, yeah, it's yes. thanks to people like yourself helping oh, me thank you. figure out this industry, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, thanks yeah. for coming. Thank you.